My name is Christina Finley, and I'm here to show you how I plan to put learning theories into practice in my future classroom. As I look back on my years in school, to be truthful, as a student, school is very boring, and I never realized how important it was until I went to college. I've always done well in school, but the assignments seemed meaningless. My teachers, they didn't really care. I have had a few great teachers in my life. For example, my business web page design teacher. She really cared about us and took the time to listen to us. She would teach us material that helped us obtain careers and skills to help us with our daily lives. Fast forward, I've been going to college for five years now. Two and a half of them have been at Montana State University studying how to become a productive and meaningful teacher. I spent the first half of my studies obtaining a transfer degree in environmental science focusing on soil regeneration and rocks. I love rocks. But I have came to realize I love learning more. And I have a great passion for teaching. I've learned so many things during my studies that will help me become a very successful teacher. I will incorporate my past school and life experiences to help my future learners become self-sufficient learners. My goal is to help provide students with the skills and knowledge to learn on their own. I will engage my students and motivate them so this won't happen to them. Speaking of, this reminds me of one of my favorite learning theorists, Dr. Piaget himself. He believes children learn best when they learn to think, not to memorize. If you take the word cognitive, how the brain stores information, add a little constructivism, using existing knowledge to problem solve and learn new things, you get a great tasting blend of cognitive constructivism, creating an authentic sandbox. Activities that engage students and go beyond passive learning. Students will produce real-world applications through this process and will help them apply their knowledge. There are so many great learning theories out there, and as needed, I'll apply them to my classroom. My classroom layout will enable my students to collaborate with each other. They'll work alone, and they'll have access to me as their facilitator. Students should feel comfortable and learn new things and ask questions. We will start our day with a morning meeting. Here we'll go over the rules for the rug, for the classroom, and talk about our objectives for the day. We will then transition into writing. They will be giving appropriate prompts and write about anything they want. Any big events that happened at home, anything they are concerned about, the sky's the limit during this time. And this will help me as a teacher get to know the children and help my students express themselves and build a community. We'll go right into the other core subjects. One of the biggest of them and most important is ELA. Speaking, listening, reading, and writing. Oh yeah, don't forget about language. ELA is incorporated in every subject. And reading is one of my favorite things to do. I want to instill this in my students. Well, writing is also important. And I'll teach my learners why it is important to know writing and teach them all different types of writing to do this. One of my main goals as a teacher is to produce learners. And I will do this through the gradual release of responsibility throughout the school year. I will start with reading and writing workshops and infuse my classroom model. The CAFE model breaks each component down into comprehension, accuracy, fluency, and expanding vocabulary into significant strategies that support each goal. This will be posted on the classroom wall and built on throughout the year. It serves as a visual reminder of whole class instruction as well as individual student goals. The CAFE has a foundation of the big five. How does this work, you ask? Students select from five authentic reading and writing choices working independently towards personalized goals, while the teacher meets individual needs through whole group and small group instruction, as well as one-on-one -on -one conferring. And these choices include read to self, work on writing, read to someone, listen to reading, and word work. This allows me to incorporate the Common Core English standards in the cafe menu with ease and precision in my classroom. Oh, geez, I said it. Common Core. I know, but wait. Now I have had the opportunity to dig deeper into the Common Core, I have found out what an amazing tool this is for my classroom. I am provided with the building blocks to shape my curriculum to best serve my students to become college and career ready. And I still have the flexibility to let my creativity of teaching shine through. Going back to the cafe, this model allows my future learners the choice of what they read, the choice of how they do it, and the choice of how they express their newfound knowledge. The benefit of the Daily Five for teachers and schools includes the following. Students develop independence and stamina and accountability. Less time is consumed by classroom management and leaves more time for instruction. This framework adopts flawlessly into district-adopted curriculums and state mandates. It improves school-wide literacy and achievements, and behaviors of independence is transferred to other content areas. This classroom setting will encourage children to take responsibility in their own learning. Students will become thinkers and be motivated. Speaking of motivation, 
technology is key to this. Technology, it's everywhere in our lives and in students' lives. And as a teacher, I need to hone in on this and embrace the change. I need to teach children how to research the internet and use appropriate sources. Also to teach children in the schools to learn from their computers, not just to use them for Facebook, but how to use technology to become college and career ready. If I am provide students with some skills to do this right, then I feel I've done my job right. Thank you for your time. The end.